In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to configure the mobile header options in BuddyBoss Theme 2.0. We have another video explaining how to configure the desktop header options, but in this video, we'll be focusing on the mobile experience. We've provided the ability to assign icons to the mobile menu. including an icon for searching the website. And in BuddyBoss 2.0, we've added the ability to assign a custom menu to the mobile header panel. So now let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how to configure the mobile header in BuddyBoss theme. Here we are in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss theme options header. And if we scroll down, we can configure the header options for mobile. We can configure which component icons to display in the header. I can toggle search, messages, and notifications. And if I'm using WooCommerce, I can toggle the shopping cart. Let's disable search and messages. And I'll click Save Changes. And let's see how that looks in the website. By making this browser window skinny, it forces the website to use the responsive mobile layout. So this is a good way to test how your site's going to look when viewed from a mobile device. And let's refresh. And so now we only have icons for notifications and shopping cart. The icons for search and messages have been removed. And for this logo, this is coming from the mobile logo setting, which you can find in the logo settings in our theme options. And coming back to the header options, if I scroll down to advanced, these advanced options apply to both the desktop header and the mobile header. Currently the header is set to be sticky, meaning it sticks to the top of the page, even when I scroll. It's also set to a height of 76 pixels and to show a drop shadow behind it when I scroll. We could disable the sticky header and disable this header shadow and I'll set the height to 60. And let's click save changes. And then let's refresh the front end. And now we've got a much skinnier header at only 60 pixels tall. And when I scroll the page, the header scrolls with the page. And lastly, let me show you how to customize the menus that appear in the mobile header panel. By default, the menus displaying here are from the header and the buddy panel menu areas, as set in the WordPress admin at appearance menus. If I expand this window back to desktop view, it's this header menu and this buddy panel menu that are automatically displaying in the mobile header panel. But instead, I can assign a custom menu to one of these mobile menu locations. In BuddyBoss 2.0, we've provided these two new mobile menu locations, one for logged in users and another for logged out users. If you create a new menu and assign it to either of these locations or to both locations, it will take over as the only menu on the mobile menu panel. So let's create our mobile menu. I'll click create a new menu. And we'll call it mobile menu. And I'll assign it to mobile menu logged in. And let's click create menu. And I'll add these logged in buddy boss menus for profile, account, timeline, messages, and logout. And let's click Save Menu. And we can go to the front end and refresh. And now we're using our custom mobile menu. And just like the Buddy panel, we can now add sections into this mobile menu as well. We can open up this new area called buddy panel sections and let's add some sections. I'll reorder these sections.
And then let's rename this first section to personal. And I'll rename the second section to settings. And let's click save menu. And then let's refresh the front end. And now we've divided this mobile menu into sections, providing a really simple and intuitive mobile navigation experience.